Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. I hope you guys all had a really amazing holiday and Christmas. We had a really good, great time and I hope you guys enjoy watching the Hoya new growth video. I was super excited about all the new growth. I feel like every time I visit the Hoyas and when they have new growth it's like I'm getting a, a present. So it's really exciting to uh, go through Christmas and have all those like super awesome new growth but i have put this offer i guess i think long enough you guys have seen part one of my hoya tour so i want to film part two for you guys uh i'm making dinner right now i'm making a little bit of a bean and hot dog dish jordan and wolfie are just running some errands so without further ado let's just go through the rest of my hoyas and let's get going so in the kitchen, I have a, a lot of you have seen this, a modern brow grow frame that Jordan gifted me um, last Christmas. And I really love this because I could grow plants in places where I wouldn't normally have been able to grow. Um, so, and I keep on just only Hoyas because they really appreciate how bright these lights are. Um, so on the far corner, we have a Hoya CV Joy. Uh, I got this in an import and uh, it, it lost so many leaves but now it's doing pretty well. This is the most recent new leaf and it's still uh, actively growing this stem. So I really love this one. This one has like beautiful oval shape and it tans super beautifully. Next to her I actually have a cutting, two cuttings of my Hoya Ben Guanensis. I think that's how you say it. The mother plant wasn't doing really well. It was like super soft and limp. So then I decided to root a couple cuttings and they are both, um, they both rooted in sphagnum moss and both cuttings are putting out new growth. So there's a stem growing out of this one cutting and, and a new growth and it looks like a tiny little leaf growing out from the other cutting. And next to that one is my Hoya Han Hiai Pink. It feels really healthy and I think th this is just probably light stress I'm not sure so to see like these two leaves has a little bit of that stress look too um, hopefully it should be okay I think I hope um, next to that one I have a, a newer Hoya sunrise that I just um, got so it hasn't been really tan yet but um, my original Hoya has sunrise because I love this plant so much. That's why I purchased another one. But they do look super different. I'm curious to see if they'll eventually end up looking similar. But my other Hoya sunrise in here, just so red. It is such a good grower. Well, if you guys have followed me and seen my, uh, the video of me gifting a cutting to uh, Tony, my brother. Um, but uh, his cutting is doing really well too. Yeah, I really love this Hoya Sunrise. It's super big, but I just I'm trying to fit it all underneath the grow grow light, so then all the leaves could get that beautiful tan color. There you go. Uh, next to her is my Hoya Quinquan, Quinquan Nervia. This one I kept on my uh, plant shelf for a while, but then I saw someone post a photo of it with a really beautiful tan color. So I figured I want to try this one here to see if it'll get um, better coloring. So it's working on a couple new growth here. It's a pretty happy guy. And then finally, uh, I have two kinds of Hoya Crimson Queen. One is this one with the more rounded uh, leaf. I wish I have a bigger pot of this. But yeah, look at this half moon, so beautiful. Uh, and then later on, I'll show you my other queen that's more, um, the leaf shape is more elongated. Okay, let's go to my uh, plant shelf. All right, so this is the plant shelf. I keep lots of plants here, but most of them are Hoyas. Um, so we'll go through all the Hoyas in here. I need Wolfie's little stool step for us to get on the top shelf. Let's see. In the very corner, I had just put this here. Hoya ciliata. Very beautiful and also like 
a fuzzy leaf hoya. And then next to her, you guys have just seen this Hoya, the Hoya Gigas. Also a fuzzy leaf Hoya. Super cute, look at this new leaf. And then back here we have, I think this is the Hoya Vilosa. This one is fuzzy too, it's funny, I'm keeping all of them together. Oh, this one is feeling kind of soft, so I think it's time to water this guy. And then, let's see, Hoya Sweet Scent. There you go. And in front of the Hoya Silieta, I have my Hoya Onichoid. And I kind of, uh, I used the um, plant tape and I kind of secured it here. It's getting all tangled with my Hoya Crimson Queen on the top. Yeah, this one too. I have recently seen a um, new leaf that on Instagram. The new leaves are so beautiful, but mine hasn't done any growing for me yet. Um, next to that guy, I have a Hoya Bella Elbow Marginata. Beautiful Hoya. Oh, yeah. It's uh, this is all new growth. Yeah. And then I have this sister plant, can we call it? Uh, Hoya Bella Variegata. Oh, this, this is all new growth. Super beautiful. Yeah, every time I see pictures of them, they look so kind of uh, much neater than mine. Mine looks like someone with crazy hair, but I really, really like them. Just so adorable. Um, okay, so next to that guy, let's look at this one first. This is an Incrisata Elbow Marginata. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm so glad. I got it from Juvie Purification. You can find her, she's a Canadian seller. You can find her on Facebook. Uh, she she kind of, when I was looking at her Hoya, she's like, I can't believe you're not picking up this one. And then I was like, ah, oh, you twisted my arm, but really needed no convincing. I love, this is so pretty. It has been dormant for a really long time, but as you can see here, I just noticed it's put out a new, new uh, stand. Yeah. And in front of her is a Hoya, Acuta Elbow Marginata. Super cute. The shape of the leaves are so cute. Yeah. This one also has a new stem growing out here. Um, next to her is my Hoya uh, Kelisto Kelet. Wow, Tophila, Calistophila? Yeah. Beautiful venation. Just such uh, a pretty Hoya. And also a pretty easy bloomer. Um, I have done a video of what the bloom looks like. I'll put that in the description box below if you're interested in seeing the bloom too. But so pretty. Uh, behind is a Hoya Chelsea. My Hoya Chelsea, I don't, oh sorry, the lighting is so difficult because we're so close to the grow light. The Hoya Chelsea has been actually pretty slow in growing for me. This is a new leaf, um, but it hasn't done a lot of growth. Uh, yeah, and then in front is, this one is a Hoya Patchy Colada, the green form. Um, I actually have two of them, but uh, someone posted this on Facebook Marketplace, this one, and it's so beautifully tan, and it was like $45 for such a big Hoya plant, so I picked this one up too. There's actually another Hoya hidden here. I don't remember the name. I think it's Australis Repicta or something. I'll, I'll double check and make sure I write the name down for you guys. But um, as with all Australis um, Hoyas, I have a pretty hard time with this guy. 
Yeah, so I transferred it into Leica because my Australis Lisa seems to like it, but we will see how it does. Uh, anybody else here? Yes, I have a Hoya in Cressada uh, here, which also has a new, working on a new stem, um, but is also part of it. <laughs> I know it's uh, quite messy and it's kind of hard for you guys to see the full plant but in my life I really love how messy it looks like all the vines are touching each other I just I love this like wild look on the shelf here I have a little compacta <laughs> uh, cutting it, this guy I think um, fell off during the move and I thought it looked so cute so I just rooted it and <laughs> put it in this pot and it it's sitting in the pot with uh, Hoya UT033. Another beautiful Hoya. Ooh, so dusty. Beautiful Hoya. Beautiful and dusty Hoya. You know why it's a little bit dusty too? No, I have no excuse. It's just dusty because um, I'm not wiping them as often as I should be. That's the top shelf of the Hoya. This is still the UT033. Look at the vines just going everywhere. This is my Dark Lore. You guys have seen it. This is my um, very good string of hearts. Uh, underneath here, I actually have shown you guys this guy uh, in my part one video, but I moved it, so it's sitting in the shelf now. This is the Hoya uh, Memoria. Let's see. We have a Dishidia here. Um, let's go back this way. So this is my Hoya um, fungi. And uh, it's got this one beautiful leaf, another beautiful leaf, another beautiful leaf here. But the rest of it is just really funky looking. Look at this one. This looks like a Chelsea leaf. <laughs> This is just like, what is this? <laughs> but it's put out these two fungi looking leaves. So I think, I think we're good. It's just my funky fungi. In front of her, oh, this is the Akuta. Excuse me. In front of her, I have, this is my sugar vine. It's so cute. Uh, but the Hoya here is the Hoya Parasitica Chantel. It used to have like really pink in the splash, but because it hasn't gotten a lot of light, so the splash is all um, not pink anymore. Next to this guy, uh, it's also actually actively growing. Let me show you. This is the stem. Yeah, next to her is my Hoya Ritusa. Uh, this is this one I told you guys about in my one of my plant hauls. I had killed one and I didn't really care for it, but I decided to give it another try. And this try, I just love it. It's just, it's so unique. It brings such interest to the whole plant shelf for how unique it is. These like little matchstick uh, leaves. Also, the blooms, like the single flowers, I've seen pictures of it. They're so cute and I really look forward to this one blooming. Yeah. Behind the Ritusa is my like OG love for Hoya. Well, not the OG OG. My OG is the um, Carnosa, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But this was my original like wish list plan to find a beautiful um, Obovara. Oops, let's go take a look at this splashy leaf. So pretty. Yeah, so that's my Obovara. So pretty. Um, next to the Bovara, we have a ooh, hidden under behind. It's the e Elagiorum. Oops. Yeah, look, it's really pretty. And then I have a really super sad uh, Lobii <laughs> that I am attempting to reroot in Lekka so it's just kind of hanging in there look this one is super sad leaf um 
hidden behind all these guys, let's see, is a Alba Marginata, Australis Alba Marginata. Also is super sad and now it seems to be doing a little bit better in Lekka, but still not super happy. I'm just not, uh, Australis and me, we just don't get along very well. All right, let's go underneath. So this is a Hoya Cham Campbell Refolia. And one of, I think, my easiest Hoyas to care for. I have taken so many cuttings of this one and the venation is so beautiful. Also, I think it has the potential of tanning beautifully as well, but I just haven't uh, been able to give it that condition. Just a little bit of active growth right here, but nothing um, to write home about. Uh, a lot of miscellaneous, a lot of dyshetia, and all my like Kodax plants, the potato plants are here, and some skindapsis. Oh, there's the uh, Fichia you guys have seen uh, recently in my vlog that I have just repotted, and it does seem to be firmer and doing better after being repotted, so I'm happy about that. But this one also, the venation is so beautiful. Isn't it so similar to the uh, camph camphory folia, the venation? But they're so different. The Fichia should be able to tan quite beautifully as well. Um, yeah, okay, so here I have another cutting of sad compacta. This one, I, uh, I had the compacta after we moved, it just was, I didn't take really good care of it and uh, within a pot of mini stems, this one had root rot so I took it out to see if I could re-root it. But I don't know if it will. Next to that one in the back, this is a, this one, it's called Bicanellii. Such a satisfying Hoya. Also, I think it's time. This one, you just, I never have to water it. It's just so succulent. But I think it's almost time. It's a little bit softer to the touch than usual. Uh, next to her is my Hoya. This one was sold to me just as green carnosa, but then it looked kind of like a Hoya um, Crinkle 8 and also kind of like Compacta. Um, I am still unsure of what it wants to be. I think it's a little bit like a Compacta. Yeah, a pretty lipstick plant back here. Uh, that's that shelf of all the Hoyas. Underneath, we have a little bit more. Um, I moved my... <laughs> it was so dusty, oh my goodness. Uh, my Caria back here, <laughs> look at this. You can write my name on it. Um, okay, I'll clean it after this video. But yeah, I moved my carry out here because I kind of wanted to get a little bit more light. Uh, I have a compacta album marginata here, which I just had to repot today because I also found some root rot and it was just so many roots as well that it was just not taking up the moisture anymore. I had to, yeah, repot it to give it a little bit more life. Hopefully that will help it. In front of her is, uh, you've seen this too, I moved this up here like the carry eye. It was originally downstairs, so it was in my previous video. Um, but this new growth is so pretty. Yeah, and then, do I have any more Hoyas? Yes. So the, all these, this is um, another Hoya Compacta. And then next to the Hoya Compacta is a, no, uh, this is the Hoya Pubic Calyx uh, with really heavy, heavy splash. So I feel like the leaves used to be darker, so the splashing used to be more, the contrast was bigger, but then after me I, giving it lots of light, the leaves turn lighter in color, so the contrast is not as big. That's why I moved it to this corner. I want to give it less light and see what happens to it if it doesn't get enough light. So yeah, it used to be more like this, just like really splashy and contrasty, but now it's like 
the contrast is not showing as well but yeah that's a beautiful Hoya too okay let me get up and I'll show you I have some more Hoyas oh actually on the top shelf I have a few Hoyas too this is the my very first Hoya that my stepmom gave me a couple cuttings of and it's grown like pretty significantly I feel like this is everybody's gateway Hoya and like most people inherited it from someone they really really love um, and then it's, it's shown people how um, how well they grow and how beautiful Hoyas can be. So yeah, we got this Hoya. A lot of us got this Hoya to thank for. And then next to that Hoya, we have my, like a huge pot of mixed um, pubic helix. I just, I got so many kinds in here, but the leaf shapes are all really similar. So I just decided to um, pot them all together. Next to her is my Hoya Ashellas who uh, has hated me for a really long time and seems to be not hating me as much since I put her in Leka but still we're not best friends. Yeah. <laughs> and then my my other um, Queens and Queen that I really adore. Look at this pink leaf. Just so pretty. And I find that a lot of people say like the white leaves don't stay on for very long but on this particular plant, the white leaves, they, for me, they do stay for a really long time. Like these white leaves, I feel like they've been around for over a year now since I've got this plant. And uh, yeah, it's just really super easy going. I love this plant. Okay, let's get down and see. So we have like, there's a lot of Hoyas in that, that shelf, that cabinet. And then we have some Hoyas like along the ledge here. So guys, the video ended up being a little bit too long, like almost 40 minutes. So it's going to be again, a three part Hoya tour video. I'm going to stop, finish the video here and say bye. Please make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing and I'll see you again. Part three. Bye.